Hi, I'm Julie, and I'm the Director of Student Services with the Qualia Institute. Being on a student aspirations team is very rewarding, and in this short video, I'm going to tell you all about it. So let's get started. So who should be on a student aspirations team, and what do we do? Well, a student aspirations team functions like a megaphone for the rest of the student body. Your student aspirations team should be diverse, just like your student population. This means you want a range of students to participate so you can get ideas from all the different groups on your campus. And then you collaborate together to improve your school. Being on an aspirations team does not mean you always have to be outgoing, be really well organized, or even get all A's. Being an aspirations leader is about wanting to help students have more of a voice about what happens at school so they can be successful academically, personally, and socially. Being on a student aspirations team means working in partnership with other students, your teachers, principals, all in a win-win mindset. Next are expectations for students. We expect that you will bring your best thinking to this work. Commit the necessary time to meet as a team, talk to other students about what you're doing, and be role models of the eight conditions as you go about the school day. Aspirations teams are expected to meet at least twice a month. Meetings can take place during lunch, free periods, after school, online, or whatever works best for team members. What can a student's aspiration team accomplish? Working with their teachers, student aspirations teams from across the country have accomplished so many important things. Just a few examples. Changing rules about discipline. For example, cell phone policies. Expanding student recognition and awards. Creating more engaging learning environments getting more students involved in extracurriculars, reducing bullying, peer tutoring problems, and all these other ideas. What your team decides to take on is going to be unique to your school. We're going to provide your teachers with a student aspirations team manual where you can actually see different projects that other student aspirations teams have accomplished. Once you look at some of those ideas, you can adapt and change them to fit for your school. Let's look at what being on an aspirations team is all about. First of all, it's thinking of things students could do differently so that students' lives at school will be better. It's talking regularly to students who are not on the team about those ideas you have about improving school. Remember, you're supposed to be the megaphone and speak, about, speak to what the rest of the student body wants. Also, responding to the needs of all other students by reflecting on the My Voice survey and focus group results. That information is going to be really important before you start a project. Remember, you're a group of students who represent the diversity of your school, and you should be proud to be on this team. Being on a student aspirations team is really fun. You plan and implement projects that positively impact your school, do some team building, and work with other students, teachers, and administrators to solve problems. We're also going to give you some resources in your manual, such as the Dream On Guidebook that you can do worksheets on and reflect on, the eight conditions. Um, there's project planning sheets, projects from other students' aspirations teams for you to look at, information on our student summits, and more. Share your ideas with us over social media. You can post pictures to our Instagram by tagging us at Qualia Institute, tweet us at Quisa Tweets, like our Facebook page, which is Qualia Institute for Student Aspirations, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Qualia Institute, and there's the link. I hope this video helped you understand being on a student aspirations team a little bit more. 
I can't wait to work with you and see what your team can accomplish. Thanks for watching. Bye.